Which is worse, a overinflated basketball or an underinflated basketball? Dribbling, overinflated. You barely have to dribble for the ball to bounce. It can also get you better at dribbling by having to learn to control the ball. It's hard to control if you dribble the ball too hard. Underinflated. It will teach you to pound the ball when you dribble. If you don't like having a lot of bounce in the ball, this is the ball for you. With it being flat, it's hard to bounce because when it hits the ground a lot of times, it doesn't want to bounce back up. Shooting. Overinflated. It can get you better at shooting. If you don't do a bank shot or make the ball go straight in the rim, it is going to bounce right off. Underinflated. No matter how you shoot it, you should make every shot because with the ball being flat, it will just stop and fall in. It can't get you better at shooting. Passing. Overinflated. Passing is the same. Just don't pass the ball too hard on bounce passes or too hard in general. Could hurt a person's fingers. Underinflated. It's very easy to catch passes and do passes. You can't do the bounce pass. Which one do you think is worse?